Hello, welcome back. Now that you know the basics of the four tones and their associated English words, it's time for you to learn the fifth tone or the neutral tone. Some people also call it the toneless tone. All right, let's take a look at again at our tone chart. Remember, one represents the low part of our voice range, like in the third tone, ma. And five represents the high part of our voice range, like in the first tone, ma. The neutral tone is somewhere in the middle, like a three or so on the chart. There are just two things to know about neutral tone, and that's the first thing. It's in the middle of your voice range. The other thing about neutral tone is that it's very short, short and sweet, like ba or na. If other syllables that do carry a tone are, say, two beats, like ba, ba with a first tone, or ba, ba with a fourth tone, then a syllable with a neutral tone one is just one beat or less, ba. Can you hear how it's super short and also in the middle of my voice range? Ba, na, ma. When you see a syllable written in pinyin with no accent mark over the vowel, then you know it's just got a neutral tone. Ba, na, ma. If you want to have an associated English word to use with a neutral tone, then you can try this. Pretend somebody is cutting you off or interrupting you when you speak. You're trying to say, but the way I see it, and then they cut you off before you can even finish the word but, but. Okay, so that's the neutral tone. So if you see the syllable ma with no tone mark, then before you pronounce it, first think about but, but. Then with the same tone of voice, say ma. Got it? Great. The next step is to practice saying tones. The best way to do that is to practice saying them together in pairs. We'll do that in our future lessons. Before we start practicing, I want to tell you about one important rule when it comes to tones. Let's call it the 3-3 three, three combination rule. It's really simple. When two third tone syllables are together, the first one becomes a second tone. Got that? I'll say it again. If you have two third tones or two low tones, then the first one is pronounced with a second tone or a rising tone instead of a low tone. So instead of a, uh, a, uh, you have what, a, uh, second, and then third. Rising, then low. What, a. Uh. It's never a, uh, a. Uh. It's as simple as that. That's all you need to know for now. We'll go over examples and do plenty of practice in our future lessons. All right, great job. Now you have all the knowledge that you need when it comes to Chinese tones. Pretty easy actually, right? The next step is to start practicing. All right, see you next time. Xiaxi